All right. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Anne Singh, founder of e-commerce business school, coming at you. We have a really fantastic informational session here where we are going to learn about yet another sourcing method within the e-commerce space. And you've probably heard of it. It's gaining popularity because it's got some incredible benefits to you as a seller. And it's called print on demand. So we have with us an 11 year Amazon veteran over a decade, which I am seeing that my internet connection is unstable and getting a little notice. Hey there, Brian, can you hear me? Are we still on the web? Yeah, and I can hear you well, no problems okay. here. Alrighty, so I had something pop up, hard to know what's going on there. I better close out some browsers, but hey, good afternoon, everybody. Um, we are really excited to share this information with you. You might wanna have a pen and paper out if you're in the education mode of wanting to know, what are my options here in the e-commerce space? So Brian, I think it's really important that people get a little historical overview of the many, many methods that you have implemented with tremendous success. Um, over the last decade, and one that you got you shifted into um, two, three years ago. So let's start with the history. Yeah, yeah. So I've been selling on Amazon, as you said, for over 10 years now and started with books. The beautiful thing about Amazon is that it's the world's biggest marketplace. I mean, if you want to buy anything, you think, well, I could just go to Amazon and buy it. So if you can go to Amazon and buy it, that also means as a seller, you could go to Amazon and sell it. So books. And then retail arbitrage, which is flipping products from local stores and online arbitrage where you find products from stores and flip those on Amazon and liquidation and wholesale and what's known as private label where you bring your own products over from China or someplace like that, manufacture your own products. You can do all of this on Amazon and I've done all of that. And it's been a wild ride. It's been a lot of fun. But one of the problems with that is that you're always sourcing. You're always looking for more inventory. And that's been the, I don't want to call it a headache, but it's the continual challenge of selling products on Amazon is that you're always looking for additional products, additional suppliers. Products have their own lifestyle, life. Um, what's the word for that? Life Shelf life. Shelf life, yes. <laughs> So they life cycle. There we go. They do well for a while and you've got to replace it with something else. And this is the way it is with retail anyway. And I was looking for something different that I could sell on Amazon and have an edge over the competition. And I stumbled into uh, a little article about custom merchandising and that led into something called print on demand. This was a couple of years ago. It wasn't as well known at that time. And I found a print on demand supplier that made coffee mugs and they did t-shirts um, and jewelry. And so um, I just put up some of those products. Now the way it works with print on demand is that there's a manufacturer, they have blank mugs, they have blank t-shirts, nothing on them. And you create the design that you want to go on the product and create a listing. Yeah, just like that. Mm -hmm. So all you have to do is make a picture of this and the beautiful thing with Photoshop or any, any image editing is that you can make it look like it's real, but it's not, it's never existed. So we take the art, we put it on a picture of a mug. It's so that's called a mock-up and we put it up for sale on Amazon. Now at this point, I have no costs. All I have is my time to create the art. And I put it on the product, put it on the product listing on Amazon. There's no cost at all. And then somebody comes along and they, they buy it and I get paid. And then I contact the print on demand supplier and I say, hey, print this for me on this mug and send it to my customer. So what's really cool about that is that I don't have any cost for the inventory, but I don't have to handle the inventory. It is a drop ship model, meaning that the supplier handles the inventory and I don't have to do that. Yeah, that's amazing. So it is a form of drop shipping. People are, you know, maybe have heard of that but it's unique. Oh, it looks like you cut out or do I have you Brian? Right. I'm still oh, okay. here. Good, good, okay. I think I got confused by watching on Facebook to make sure we're live, apologies for that. Um, so it is a form of drop shipping, but what makes it unique is it's custom. It is the design that you own and control. Um, one challenge I know you've mentioned as an Amazon seller is when people come in and riff off of 
um, you're listing and before you know it, you've got a comp you know, competition on the very product that you had found. But when it's your design, it's yours. It's, it's branded to you and you even put your brand store logo on there, don't you? Yep, my brand is Stir Crazy Gifts. I don't know how well you can see that on there, but that's my logo. It's branded. And if somebody does list on this, which they can, you know, that's, that's the way it is. They can say they have a Stir Crazy Gifts product on there. Um, but I can enforce that and I can get them off my listing. So that's the beautiful thing. If I'm doing regular drop shipping or buying from a wholesale supplier, I've got to put up with all the other sellers that have that product. But I don't have to do that with, um, with my own branded line of products. And especially if I do personalized products. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this is through a program called Amazon Custom. It's a special program that they have that allows the customer to input anything they on, that they want on there, their name, um, any type of text. They can upload photos, however you want to set it up. They can do that. And nobody else can list on those listings. So I have no problems with hijackers. But all, not only that, I don't have any brand restrictions. And for current Amazon sellers, they know what brand restrictions are. I don't have, to, I don't have that at all. Uh, it's a really fun process, too, because I get to try lots of different designs. So I just create. See, this is a travel mug. She believed she could, so she did. I just create the art, and look how simple that is, and upload that into a listing. And it's easy to create listings and lots of designs. And so it's kind of like a, a numbers game because I know the more designs I create, some of those are gonna sell, some of them, a few of them are gonna sell really well. Um, this one here, last month, I had nearly a thousand units sell of it. So oh, it was, awesome. um, yeah. wow. it was nursing week and yeah. sales spiked for that. So, yep, That's they awesome. do sell. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, we're going to talk more of the benefits of having a print on demand business as compared to the other sourcing methods. I know you continue to do other sourcing methods, but there are some definite strong benefits. We have a full informational web class that is tomorrow, Thursday, June 13th at 8 p.m. CT, that's Chicago time. The link is in this post, but you can go to joinebs.com forward slash June 13th. And that's going to take you to our registration so that you can attend our web class. Brian, you're going to be there and give the full details, uh, each step that is involved in print on demand. And that's something that we really pride ourselves on here at the e-commerce business school. And you, as our executive director of training coaching, is we want all the information out there for you, for you to then make a well-informed decision to know if this is going to be a good fit for you. So definitely take the time to register. Do that right now. Join EBS.com forward slash June 13th. Show up on time. Make sure you got that time zone right. Don't show up an hour late um, because in that first hour, he's going to give you all the details. Plus, it's going to be fun to share. A couple of our current POD members are going to come in and talk about their success, which is really, really fun to see. Um, let's wrap it up talking about, so you had done, obviously, book flipping was your six figure business for five years plus, got you your new home, got you four upgrades into RVs. You went through private label, wholesale sourcing, all these methods, now you're here. What makes this one different that people should consider that maybe this is gonna be a good fit for them? It's having your own branded line of products, your own uh, brand, branded company. So that's something I can build on, Stir Crazy Gifts. And I have a website for it. We have an Instagram and uh, Pinterest. We have Facebook. We, we have these assets that we've put in place. And now it makes it an attractive business that somebody else would want to buy. Mm. So that's what I'm thinking about is the long run. Um, Amazon is great for cash flow, but I love the idea that I'm building my own brand and asset. All right. So that is a big distinction is you didn't have that previously. You were kind of, I'm not going to say a glorified Amazon seller, but kind I of was. Sorta. Yeah. I, I was a glorified Amazon seller. That was it. <laughs> there, we're cutting to the chase on this matter. And, and yes, it's great. It's great to have Amazon's traffic and the profits that come with those sales, but you wanted something that was your own. This is your store, which you got that cash from the traffic from Amazon. 
springboarding you into your own Shopify store. You're building all those social media assets. In your situation, the store isn't highly branded to you. So someone could easily come in, you know, purchase your business and go, this is great. I see the P&Ls. They look awesome. Uh, yeah. How much do I write out a check for? Whereas if you didn't have these assets that basically they can buy and own and control moving forward, including if I may add, you have a tremendous asset of a VA team in the Philippines. You're not doing these designs, are you? That's true. Um, it's been a while since I've created designs. I enjoy the process, but I'm just busy doing other things. So I have staff that does that and low paid staff, um, low paid, but dedicated, you know, it's low paid by American wages, but I pay them well by Filipino standards, mm -hmm. Philippine wages. So that team is a significant asset of your business as is the team here in EBS is a significant asset. So you've got this awesome team that you get the benefit of. You wake up in the morning and they've got new designs for you. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the other thing about when you're creating a business, like, like there's a book that I think you're working with right now in the book club, the book study is uh, built to sell. Mm -hmm. And, th and they talk about building systems. So when somebody comes in to purchase, they look at your business from the point of view of what kind of investment is this? They also say, how much time do I have to put in to manage this? And if I had all the manufacturing and handling all that inventory and all of that, that's a potential headache. This makes it so much more attractive to a buyer. You know, Anna, it, we're talking about this and I'm thinking, wow, I haven't tried to shop my business. I wonder what it's worth right at this moment. I'm kind of curious to know that. It's exciting to think yeah. this through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your asset sheet, your valuation that you could track as you're growing it and knowing when, okay, you can cash in um, akin to real estate. Um, we did that for a season, um, but this is online real estate, essentially an online piece of property, so to speak, with those the traffic that you get to all your social media, to your website, to your Amazon store, and then the team, there's so many components to it. I 100% concur that someone doesn't want to buy a business to buy a job. They want to buy a business because it's an asset that's going to grow with or without them. And the print on demand method that you've implemented has moved you more and more into that space of something that you just work on. And the business runs with or without you because you have that VA team. That's a very appealing business to buy. Now, in stark contrast and, and respectfully so, so we bring people in to start with Shop Your Way to Well, local retail arbitrage. We do that because it's a great way to get proof of concept that e-commerce, it works. Amazon is amazing. They get into cash flow and they go, wow, this is the land of milk and honey. It really works. And so that's where a lot of people set their foundation. You did through book flipping, which is another form of arbitrage. But you expanded your business and here you are now owning your own business with your own assets that you can turn around and sell. That's got to feel really empowering versus the more linear was you were only as good as your last book scan or book haul. Now you've got a system that works day in and day out. Yep. It's, it's more stable rather than knowing that the rug could be pulled out from underneath me. You know, now I have some real assets, you know, but to, there are a lot of components to putting this, all of this together. But the really the beautiful thing for somebody that's just getting started is they don't have to worry about all those components because they're using the Amazon system. It's already got all the traffic as the customers, they're ready to buy. You have the, um, the data there that tells you what's gonna sell well. So you know what kind of listings to create. And then you're not having to handle the manufacturing. And if you can handle just some simple little design, just, I mean, that's got to be pretty easy, right? Anybody that has a typewriter could probably create that. If you can handle just a simple little design, you don't need any of the rest. You don't need a team. You don't need an office. You don't even need a physical location at any point. You can start off this way. And then over time, start rolling in these other components into your business. It, it truly is a laptop style business with print on demand and no inventory no handling of the products, your supplier takes care of that for you. Yep. It's hands off. 
All right, so make sure folks, if this interests you, learning about this method, make sure you go to joinebs.com forward slash June 13th. The link is right in the post here. And so that you can register. If for some reason the text didn't show up, Facebook has been a little buggy lately, just let us know in the comment section, tag me and we will get that to you. And I apologize, we're actually broadcasting on three groups and pages. So I'm trying to monitor and see if there's any comments and questions. I've only been watching the page. So uh, we will try to get to all three different groups to make sure we're not missing any questions. But uh, definitely, definitely register and show up for tomorrow's web class. And Brian's going to go into great, great detail, including how you can get going in, you know, right away into print on demand. So mm -hmm. thanks for listening. And thank you, Brian, for jumping in to share about how awesome print on demand is. And high five and success. Uh, kudos on your awesome business. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye, everybody. See you tomorrow right. night. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.